Hi, my name is Clara Lafita. Uh, my name is Bruce Wayne. Batman. My name is my name is Batman. My name is Lana Del Stingray. Um, right now I'm just a normal 16 year old girl. Uh, I don't think I've figured out who I am yet, but I really hope that Link Crew helps me figure that out. I'm Batman. Duh. I'm a Pisces. Um, I'm a spiritual eater. I'm just like a really big activist and my friends describe me as the coolest person they've ever met, including themselves. I think I can make Link Crew better because I'm just a really easy person to talk to, you know? And I think that would help a lot with some of the girls who have difficulty coming out of their shell. Because I know I was one of those girls. I mean, starting a new school is really scary. And it's nice to just have someone you can chat with. And I think I'm that person. I would keep Link Crew safe, like the streets of Gotham, because Batman. While also darkening the tone a little bit, because I'm an ominous dude, you know? Batman. Well, I would educate the girls on their horse scouts. Um, I would also educate them on the hunger crisis that's striking Narnia right now. It's kind of a big deal. My challenge began technically before high school because I came into Mercy knowing absolutely no one. Uh, and I overcame this challenge by putting myself out there. And I haven't stopped overcoming this challenge. Just this year, I joined U of D Musical, and I've made some of my closest friends. So I think that I've learned that the best way to make friends is by putting yourself out there and joining things that might be a little bit out of your comfort zone. But in the end, it definitely pays off. My biggest challenge was that I was an orphan who was destined to take over the family business. So I overcame that by Ignoring my responsibilities, living recklessly, and eventually fighting crime. And I learned that I am the hero Gotham deserves, but no, I'm the the hero Gotham needs, not the one it. Uh, I'm the hero of Gotham. So my biggest challenge was like finding people who understand me and like are as cool as me. And I overcame that by starting my organization, Women Against Gremlin Abuse. I'm sorry, um, gremlins are real. Oh my gosh, like, this is exactly the problem. You know, I was just so misinformed. This don't feel bad for me. Feel bad for the gremlins, you know? Okay, so to be honest, to me, the perfect day would be spent at Disney World with my two best friends, Brooke and Claire. Um, we would have an unlimited amount of money, and there would be absolutely no lines. Also, the cast of Friends would be there, but not, like, as the actors. They'd be there as the characters from Friends, if you get what I mean. Um, ooh, and we'd all have segues. Forever different Batman. Uh, well, I bust all my villains. Make sure they don't escape from prison. That would be nice, you know, because they do that a lot. Then, uh, I think I would fly to the top of a very tall building, and I'd sit on it, and I'd look at the city of Gotham. Not in anything particular, just kind of look down at the city for for the rest of the day, really. To, especially if it's nighttime. My perfect day. Okay, well, I think I would wake up, I would drink a patchouli smoothie with extra kale, I'd do a little yoga, uh, I'd go to a rally against turtle fighting, I was, ugh. What's turtle fighting? It's like, okay. Turtle fighting is like dog fights, but with turtles. And it's disgusting. Why aren't you laughing? This is sick.